Hello, Scorpio. It's on Oh My God Tarot, and this is your Someone Secretly Talking About You Tarot card reading. Yeah, of course they're talking. You knew that. But why? What are they saying? And who is doing the yapping? Let's figure it out. I'm using the astrology reading cards. Ooh, how'd you get it in there? No, no house cards. No house cards. So let's have a look at the astrology of it all. Like, what are they? What's their vibe like? What is the vibe like? And then we'll do a tarot spread and see what what the what in the head they be saying. What does it relate to? Give us the vibe for Scorpio. Here we go. Your first card is Virgo. You guys have a weird connection with Virgo, don't you? You have some sort of dark humor type. Anyways, the energy around you is dutiful, hesitant, and humble, with a discriminating, diligent, and painstaking air. Virgo. Yeah. Do you like that? Let me know if you like that. Do you like script? Is there a Virgo, Virgo up in your... Do you, do you gag when you see that? Do you like, ugh? I don't know. I don't know what you guys, in real life, I don't know what you guys are like together. Then we have Sagittarius energy. Sagittarius, the energy imbues power, superior confidence, and enthusiasm with faith, good fortune, and authority. So we got one earth sign and now one fire sign. Hmm. Okay. 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 Actually, you know, I've seen a, I've, I've seen a, a Scorpio with Virgo Sagittarius around them. I, I, wait, let me, let me just, let me just. And then we have Capricorn. Okay. I mean, I've seen that combination, all three, with the Scorpio. I've seen units of Scorpios with all these three signs. So, very interesting. Feels like people you know, familiar people talking about you. People who are in your orbit, because I normally see this combination. It's weird. I used to, I was like, one-to-one, -one, I don't see you romantically like that, but I see you somehow associated, affiliated. Um, regularly, I see that, so that's, that's going to have to stand out to me. Now, Virgo is, is ruled by the planet Mercury, so we're talking communication. Um, and Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter, so we're talking expansion, growth. We're talking uh, travel as well. But I feel like it's like the, the communication grows with this person. I guess they talk about you more, hopefully to you at some point. Um, and I feel as this is a little bit more calculated than I would hope. Capricorn energy tells me this person has earthy-like tendencies, which means they're probably competitive and they probably have a master plan. You talking about me? You talking about me? See, Sagittarius, very easygoing energy. Uh, Virgo, a little competitive, and Capricorn, a little competitive. So, it's very interesting talking about you, talking about you. These bad boys flipped over. It was too many to take all of them. So, Scorpio, let's see. Why is this earthy fire talking about you? Virgo and Capricorn, you're on high alert. All right, here we go, Scorpio. Your first card is the star in reverse, followed by the nine of swords, followed by the devil in reverse, followed by the five of swords, and the judgment card in reverse. Interesting, look at these people. Look at them longing for more. You know? I feel like this person talks about you because that's the only thing they can do. They can only talk about you because they can't talk to you. You may have limited access at some point. You may have been very restrictive about your, you know, communication or your presence in their life. I feel like maybe that's what it is because I think this person is very, they're not as emotional as I guess a, a Scorpio would need you to be in order to like truly connect on a deeper level. We see the Virgo and the Capricorn and then the Sagittarius and Fiery could be very emotional and intuitive, but they're really just like energy you know just like vitality they're like let's go do something fun usually this is like sporadic uh, impulsive it could lead to relationships that are just kind of like flings or just short term or on the surface um, but not not too deep not deep could be stable and consistent with all this earth energy it could be like people from work as well close to your business close to your income close to your your assets this person might do your do your taxes you know but I feel like there's something, they're talking about you more, but what is that about? What is that about? Well, we see the star and we go, okay, now what are you longing for? Because you seem to be longing for more. You have that Aquarius energy to you. So you're, you're in a unique situation, unique spot. 
and this star card represents this person like almost praying or hoping for enlightenment and awakening and understanding of their situation their current situations but that would mean that this person is going through some situations right so they may have a peculiar situation they may have a unique situation it may not be like the worst thing ever but like Stay with me because look at these look at these cards. We have anxiety right here with the nine of swords So we know they're a little bit stressed about it. Let's hope for good anxiety, right? But if they're talking about you I feel like they feel like communicating with you would help them or they feel like the situation with you is the anxiety Or is something that they're hoping for more communication because not only is the star associated with Aquarius But Aquarius rules that networking and friendship stuff So maybe they're like, you know in your network, but they're not directly connected to you and they'd like to talk to you or um, maybe they just talk about you because, again, they don't know you up front. So you got to talk about you because, um, you know, you're really the main character. So Nine of Swords is giving us that anxiety, something they think about you a lot. So I'm wondering how deep does this go as far as, like, well, the why of why they think about you. Um, but it gives them anxiety, gives them stress, and it may even incept their dreams. We have the devil, we have the temptation. Maybe they feel guilty about something they did. The devil is associated with Capricorn. And this rules like lust, like temptation, um, the shackles of your ego, like things that you just do and you know it's not necessarily good for you, but once in a while, but like overindulgence is like part of that whole devil persona. So it's just, it's, it's looking like somebody's stressed out about overindulging in some way, whether that's spending, whether that's like maybe even anxious about where their faith, faith stands, they're tempted to just like, you know, not believe or just indulge in stuff they wouldn't normally do. Um, we have to remember the Sagittarius rules higher learning, so there's always this quest for understanding. Um, so maybe that has something to do with it. And this person is just like, I feel like they, they're stressing and anxious because they don't want to give in to temptation. Maybe they don't want to look into you, but they are. Maybe they don't want to know about you, but they, they want to know. And they're just trying not to, they're trying not to want to know about you. We see the Five of Swords, it feels like they walked away from you at some point cut their losses or had felt like they had to take a step back for some reason but they didn't really want to but they feel like they had to and it was like out of nowhere it was all of a sudden so this person may have just like again disconnected from you this person may be somebody that's not in your life anymore and they just talk about you because again they walked away they have a headache they didn't really love that decision but they had to do it they felt it necessary it was a hard decision I feel like like maybe you were something that they were tempted by and they just were like this is ultimately not good for me or this ultimately won't won't work out you know but like it's stressing the whole situation is stressing them out again maybe they're holding on to hope and faith with communication with you or maybe they're holding on to hope and faith about like the whole situation just working out and being okay because it's like maybe or maybe they gain enlightenment from this this situation because Maybe it's something like it's it's looking it's looking devilish in a way of where like I really enjoy you too much and like indulge in you too much and you're my guilty pleasure or something like that or I stressed out about you thinking about you and we see the headache on the right and the left of it all holding the head as it hangs so there's something like and in the middle it's like I, you know what it feels like to be honest if it's not you that's projecting this like you know lover boy image in energy. It feels like somebody that you, that you just can't get out of your head and this person is very lustful. They're not good for you. They're a temptation. They're tempting. and they're, It's not going to work out. You, you know, you're always a mess. You always unravel when it goes down with them, but you're still curious and you're still wondering why and it's still stay on your mind and then you start thinking maybe that means something and you're like <sighs> looking for the spiritual awakening of it all. You have mutual friends and if they wanted to, they would type, you know what I mean? It's sending you on a mental spiral. We see the swords. The sword jewels, that mental stuff, what you think about, the intellect, and I feel like there's might be some limerence here. Might be some limerence here. We have the judgment. People would judge. People think it was right. People, uh, people think it was wrong. Um, the devil, of course. <laughs> They're like, hey, you shouldn't do that. Not too much. And you're like, please don't, don't, don't perceive me right now. I'm not proud. Kind of thing. So it feels like this person talking about you, but it feels like a person talking about you that you are very tempted by, and they ultimately they just like. I wouldn't say they're like bad bad news, but I say they're not uh, not good news. I feel like they give you anxiety, they give you a headache. They, you just have to remember what you, why you cut them off the first time, I guess. Um, the judgment card, I feel like you know, is in reverse because if you were to go back to them, it's like not learning your lesson from a cycle that you've already completed. 
Um, the judgment card usually is like that full blown overall evaluation. Like, you know, on a day to day, you could be like, oh, this annoyed me. That didn't. That was a good day. This annoyed me. That day I was annoyed. That day we fought. But overall, you know, we're okay. But if you get to that overall, no, we're not good. This is not good. Your, your, your judgment thing, realizing that thing, changes need to be made. And if you backtrack, that judgment card is in reverse, you know. And you know all about the judgment card because, um, you know, uh, judgment is associated with Pluto. And Pluto is kind of this, has this whole thing with Hades. And the Hades thing is about death and rebirth and the afterlife. So uh, the death and rebirth, it's like, it's like multifaceted here because, you know, it could be the resurrection of a relationship that was dead. Yes, it could be. It could mean, but like that's, it's, it's not right at home for you, like the undead, like things... You guys are the only ones who could pull off a dead relationship coming back. Because, like, it's so un not happening with the Scorpio. Like, it's like, we're enemies for life. You cross me once, we're done. But, you know, if you've... <laughs> Listen, that can only be done by a Scorpio. But, anyways, um, judgment card is knowing that you have learned your lessons. You know, you know what to do, ultimately. But, hey, if you choose to do otherwise, you need to re-shift... From the beginning what the meaning of the connection will be like okay well this will be fun and if i feel like my, i'm getting too caught up i feel like i'm gonna feel and be hurt by it and i'm out and like i'm not gonna lie to myself about those feelings i'm gonna be real um but again ultimately this person just seems like a nice little snack or they ultimately they seem like problems though to be honest they seem like they come with problems so i would advise against but this person be talking about you be getting in your head maybe you're thinking about it a lot more because of it you know, you know that telepathic thing? If they're talking about you, thinking about you, then your ears start ringing, you start dreaming, and you're like, I, I'm over you, I don't care about you. And it's like, I'm not thinking about you. And then you have a dream, and it's like, oh, well, I guess they're in your subconscious. Or maybe they're talking about you somewhere out there, and feed your delulu. All right, so anyways, there it is, Scorpio. That's your reading. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Check out my Etsy shop. I got soy candles and uh, fragrance oils if you like those. And yeah, thank you so much for watching the video. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.